So you've rescued your friends. What comes next? A lot of bullshit filler missions. I think there must have been like four escort missions in a row. It was so bad. Take Pierce to Terminal A. Protect Kinsey while she does nebulous task X. Guard Shandi while she drives to the widget factory. Ugh, that was the worst. That widget factory mission was fucking painful to sit through. Worse than that Nightblade reboot. So anyway, we jump through an arbitrary number of hoops trying to track down this dominatrix, and lo and behold, we find her. In a sex club, how shocking. That was our idea. And I'm in this outfit, why again? To blend in. So why are you in normal clothes? Please, they know me here. So how do we get the dominatrix? Her champion, Dom, is at his throne. Talk to him. Is everybody in this place named Dom? Yeah. You make that sound weird. Never mind. Fine with me. Damn right I will. Dick chair? Are you fucking kidding me? You're dumb, right? I need to speak with you. The Dom recognizes the smartly dressed newcomer. Yeah, okay. I need to speak with the Dominatrix. If you wish to see the Dominatrix, you must prove your worth. Tend to my animals. What do you mean, animals? The Dom's plushly adorned submissives. Put them back in their cages. Oh, dear lord. Fine. Time to cage some fetishes. Over here, fuzzy britches! In you go! I'm coming for ya! Two points! Kill me, boy! Kill me! Get in there, Cage! I'm coming to get ya! Get in your kennel! Have I mentioned how glad I am I am not in this mission? Where are you going, huh? Whoa! Stay right there! Get over here! Your pets are all locked up. So where's the dominatrix? Not yet. You must now prove your willingness to please. Fuck me running. That's up to the client. You'll find him on the second floor. Make sure he is pleased. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. We're here. Prepare to have your world rocked. Come on, open up. Hold on. I'm getting ready for you, baby. Zemos? Oh, shit. I didn't know you were here. What? No, no way. Not going to happen. But if you haven't gone pro, then why are you here? I need to speak with the dominatrix. Dom the Dom told me I had to, but... No. No. No way. I mean, no offense. Yeah, it'd be like fucking my cousin. Look, I say you did a good job. Just don't tell anybody you saw me paying for ass. Oh my god! I wondered why Zemos and the boss couldn't look each other in the eye after this.
All right, I'm done. We made a love, baby. Back so soon. I hope you got your money's worth, Zemos. Oh, yeah. I really like the way they use their pinky. The dominatrix only meets with champions. A chariot race is starting soon, and it's attracted the best racers in the world. Take out your competition and come talk to me. Take out some racers? No problem. You are a champion. A winner. You are the best. I'm preparing for the race. My Do you mind? It puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Ooh, you have lovely skin. Oh yeah, that was nice. Needs new batteries. Feeling frisky, huh? What am I doing here? I'm a little vinyl pony. I'm a little vinyl pony. I'm a vinyl pony, short and stout. Here is my crop, here is my pout. I'm gonna get my riding crop. The razors have been wiped. So where's this race at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fool! Those amateurs never stood a chance. You want to win the race? You'll need to defeat the Dom. You bastard. You just used me to do your dirty work. You are a submissive. You are made to be used. Come, my submissive. Tend to your Dom. Bring them on! You're all going down! Before I am through, you'll be begging for your life. I don't beg for shit, pal. Your insubordination will not go unpunished. You villains do love your big statements, don't you? Zemo, oh, to me! Man, this is bullshit. We ride! Racers are off! Wow, I never thought I'd be called upon to commentate a pony car racing, Zach. <laughs> Me neither, Bobby. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is against my contract. We have an exciting race ahead of us. Uh, you might almost say it's going to be titillating, Bobby. Welcome to the 31st Annual Pony Cart Invitational. Brought to you today by Leather and Lace. And speaking of Leather and Lace, they provided the head of the Saints and his pony with their outfits today. And what fine apparel that is, Zach. I have to say, though, I wish I had the figure to pull something like that off. Yeah, I hear you, Zach. But as good as it may look, I can't imagine that's very comfortable. Oh, indeed. I hate to think how bad that must shape after a long day at the track. Yeah, myself, I prefer the soothing touch of a poly cotton blend. Well, I've always been more of a satin man, Bobby. The way the fine weave caresses my skin is pure magic. I bet it is. Rusty's new trombone has some heat. And another one oh, bites the There dog. goes a contestant, Bobby. And we got 
More ponies on the field. Rock it up. Another racer eliminated. Attack again for Rusty's new trombone. You're never going to win. One less racer on the field. And here comes Hot Carlos with his steed, Nicky the Nag. <laughs> the mischievous Gimp is here, always a fan favorite. Your pony anytime. And we have a winner. A great showing by the head of the Saints and his pony Zemo. Yes, indeed. And that horse has definitely earned an extra carrot today.